should Dave the Diver be nominated for Best Indie Game of 2023? That has been the question since it was revealed that it is nominated for that. Now, if you don't know, this is Dave the Diver, which I've been playing recently, and it's really good. Go fishing underwater for resources during the day, run a sushi restaurant by night, wild storyline, crazy characters, bunch of fun mini games. It's really good. But the game is made by Mint Rocket, which is owned by Nexon, a gigantic company, which in a lot of people's opinions, including mine, makes it not an indie game. Even with the pixel art, which is done really well. This had the resources and funding of not an indie game. Now with that conversation happening, Jeff Keighley has finally weighed in on his thoughts about Dave the Diver being nominated. Curious to know the thinking behind Dave the Diver being nominated for Best Indie. It's a great question. You know, independent can mean different things to different people. You can argue, does independent mean the budget of a game? Does independent mean where the source of financing was? Is it based on the team size? We really defer to our jury, 120 global media outlets that vote on these awards to kind of make that determination of is something independent or not. I don't know, like some people have said Larian with Baldur's Gate 3, that's an independent game. Uh, Kojima Productions with Death Stranding, some people a couple years ago, like that's an independent game. And even though that's an independent studio, of course it's funded by PlayStation. So yeah, Dave the Diver, that game is, you know, it's made by a, a group named Mint Rocket, which is a, it's a smaller game from a smaller group, but it's part of Nexon. They're employees of Nexon, which is a, a very large publisher. So I think it's a fair debate and discussion about is that game truly independent or is it not? And you can kind of argue it either way. It's independent in spirit and that it's a small game, but it is from a larger entity whereas there are other games on that list that are, you know, from much smaller studios. It's a really complicated thing to, to figure out and come up with sort of strict rules around it. Out of all the independent games that the jury looked at, or what they thought were independent games, um, that was one of the top five that they looked at that year. So that's why I like the idea of that category, but what the exact criteria, it's an open debate and discussion. And he's right for the most part. I think he did a really good job on being fair and nuanced with his answer to this. He doesn't even seem like he's sure of what the answer is. Though for me and a lot of people, it's always been about, is it independently made of any gigantic corporation. Disney can't make an indie film and Activision can't make an indie game. Now, if an indie dev made a game and somebody big publishes it, I think there's a fair discussion to be had there. But if you are direct employees of some kind of big company, I don't consider you indie. And I think it's unfair for you to be put up against other people who are actually independently making games. Even if Mint Rocket is small, these are employees of Nexon. And even if the game didn't cost much, they still had the ability to get more and get more resources by an established corporate entity. If we can have both of them in the same competition, then the word doesn't mean anything. But let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think an indie game is? And do you think Dave the Diver should be a nominee? Let me know.